What's up, you two? How y'all doing? Hey, take it easy. Hot as hell out here in Tampa, Florida. Make sure y'all keeping your dogs cool, nice and warm, nice and cool. Hold them down, put a pull out for them, whatever you gotta do. So this heat will put your dogs down. I can't tell you how many posts I see on Facebook of people saying that they just lost their dogs to the heat stroke. Man, it is serious, these dogs. Especially if you got them exotic dogs, the short muzzles, small muzzles. They have breathing problems. Bullies himself got breathing problems. You know what I'm saying? So, get an exotic, forget about it. That's a load of Hey, get down from there. Relax. Drop it on that table all the damn time. Come here, y'all too? Dang, think I forget about y'all, huh? Everybody getting water down today. You won't get a post from me saying one of my dogs died from the heat stroke, man. For real, I'll be on top of that. Heat stroke is no joke for these dogs. No joke at all. What's up, mama? Go ahead. And so you know you gotta put that down for me to get it. And I'm not gonna be wrestling with you today. Nancy is my oldest bully, seven years old. Katana is her, her niece. It's all puppy play. That's what they do all day. All that screaming, puppy play. What's up, girl? Just out here doing our everyday thing. I got Gamble inside because Hennessy don't get along with him too much yet. Enzo! Get your focus on her. See, she catches it. I, I, I messed that up. Right so yeah, please, I can't stress it enough. Stay on top of watering your dogs. Seriously, you don't want to be one of those families coming coming to your yard seeing passed out dogs dead. Hey, Enzo, relax. Update on Katana skin. From the last video, it is getting a lot better. This patch right here is growing here. So yeah, she is looking a whole lot better. Yeah, here. Yeah. Sitting with them for a little while. What kind of bug is that? I don't know, that's some nasty bug. Some board shit. I don't know what kind of bug that is. But I will pick it up though. I'm originally from New York, so we don't really see these bugs and nothing like that. So all this Florida lifestyle still, no matter I've been here for a couple years, still pretty new to me. I don't think I'll ever get used to the bombs and all these. 
stuff that like, ah, these rodents that ah, ah, rodents deal with and shit. Hey, relax. Go. That's what she be complaining for, huh? That's the fucking play. A little spoiled one. <laughs> Quick update, man. Just wanted to let y'all know. Make sure y'all are keeping your goals cool. I cannot stress it enough, especially if you're in Florida, one of these hot ass states. Please, 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 I can't stress it enough. Do whatever you gotta do to, get, to keep your dogs cool in the summertime. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and work these dogs out. I'll put the video back on. I gotta get a tripod so y'all can see what I'm doing. You know, put a little, I had a tripod, it broke. So I'm gonna get one this week. I get a tripod, put one, you know, and Hey, I'm definitely gonna be more consistent, especially this week, especially with the videos. Uh, EAR bullies, put a little challenge out, and it's pretty dope that he got it, man. I like I like EAR bullies, bullies and what they're doing over there. How you got the whole father and son thing going on the YouTube? That's great. That's a good luck. Great, they're doing great things. They got an amazing kennel going. So yeah, if y'all don't know about them, go check them. E dot A dot R bullies is their name. So yeah, he put out a little challenge, and that's really for like YouTube creators to put out content. So I kind of res I can respect it. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is the first video that I got, and y'all gonna start seeing something every week. Guarantee it. At least a couple videos every week. So but yeah, be out here. Okay, okay, figure I'd throw it back on. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to touch on a couple things, man. So yeah, you say, see right here, Shanti, right here with her, with her boo, Enzo. They will be going together. They are my two Johnson American Bulldogs. All right. I got Katana over here, which is her aunt, her niece. She will be going to gamble in the inside, they are my American bullies. All right. Those are, these are the four dogs I got for Bria. You get me? Now, Hennessy, Sasha. Sasha's a Labrador. Hennessy is my American bully. She is old. I would not want to breed her. Anyway, she is fixed. Sasha is fixed. Anybody saying like, yo, they're taking up the space in the yard. You need it. Get rid of them. No. No, 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 no. They are not going anywhere. These dogs have been here for a minute. I had her for almost eight years. Dog is not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? They are here forever. They got their spot. I did not want to become a breeder to become an asshole to these dogs. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't care if they just taking up space, if they're eating up all the food, or if what. I don't care about that, you get me? I am a dog lover first, before anything when it comes to these dogs. So yeah, just cause I can't get money from them don't mean they ain't love, don't mean they ain't, ain't gonna get their time, do not mean that I'm putting them to the side, hell no. These are pets, just like you know, sadly, when she goes, she got a couple more years, sadly. Katana's gonna retire. She's gonna be a pet. I'm not getting rid of her. When I retire, she will be a pet. She will be a pet. So, it's not only a breeding thing for me, man. Like, it's really not. Maybe some future dogs that I get more dogs, you know, I breed them and then, you know, if the bond's not there, then. I let them go to a house, a home, a happy home, live a happy life, you know? But, yeah, no. I'm not getting dogs if I can't show each individual dog the amount of love. Like, you see me out here right now with them? 
But when we go out on walks, it's always an individual walk. That's our personal time. When I take one of them to the park, that's our individual time. When uh, we go to the beach, anything like that, that's all individual time. Look at that, she is nice. That's all individual time. So I definitely find ways to make it work, man. On top of me working at night, like I find ways I can get up early, a little earlier if needed. So that's my, you know, that's my big girl. I just let her chill, do her own thing. You know, I don't really worry about putting her on a diet. She's already older. But uh, yeah, look at everybody like phenomenal here. But yeah, like I said, uh, what was I saying? Uh, too much God's lettuce in the morning. But yeah, like these dogs all get individual time. They all get their pet play time. Everything. Like, trust me, I, I move my life around to revolve around these dogs, believe it or not. So yeah. I did not become want to become a breeder, become an asshole to these dogs. So no, these dogs is not going anywhere. I don't care if I can't make a dime off of them too. They are not going anywhere. Yeah, for sure. I could definitely use the space. Yeah, for sure. You know, but that's not something I'm worrying about right now. You know? I'm planning on moving out of here a couple in the, in the, probably by the end of next year. So like I said, we're just gonna make it do for right now. But they definitely not going anywhere. Period, period, period. So I always get people telling me that like, yo, you gotta get rid of them, get more dogs to work with. Nah. That's not breathing is not my main main concern. Yeah, I wanna do it for sure. But my dogs are number one at the end of the day. So, yeah, those dogs ain't going nowhere. And they eat good, man. They get Victor, so they're not getting no cheap food. So, they eat, everybody eat the same. Everybody live the same, like, you know? So, that's how it is over here. That's how it's going to be. I'm not changing my, my ways with these dogs because they're becoming a business now. You have love and a business at the same time. And if you can't, then you, you bugging. So yeah, that's just what it is. Hey, stack it AC. All right, I fixed the rope from yesterday again. See how long it lasts. I definitely gotta get me a, a heavier rope on it. Definitely, for sure. They do ripping that up. Shanti right here, she's a year. Katana in the middle, she's seven months. And Enzo right here, just turned five months. Beast. He's gonna be a beast. He already like 66 pounds. Man, he's gonna be huge. I cannot wait to see what he come out with. Let me get it. Let me get Trying to let her jump too much, and she just loves jumping. She's 
still too young, don't want to mess up her joints. That's why I try not to work none of these dogs out because I'll be wanting to wait till 16 months. None of them 16 months yet. So I don't really go too much, too hard on them. I'm trying to work them out since you know, I'm just letting them grow, I'm not rushing them. So, but yeah, everybody's coming out good. Right, got my boy Gamble, Gamble Wimble. He loves this, he could do this all day. Just getting started, he just warming up, just warming up. Ah, oh, what the hell? That shit broke already off. Yeah, I definitely gotta get a better rope. But he don't care. He just wanna chase something. He don't care, right, boy? He just wanna catch something. Fix that up for you later. Kind of messed it up for us, huh? Come on, girl. Come to your girl. When she was in heat, he couldn't stop, like, get off of her. Now that she's not in heat, he want nothing to do with her. Such a male. Only want one thing. Such a male. <coughs> she want him. She want to be with him. She want to be next to him, all over him. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna want that. If I can't get your kitty cat, don't talk to me. <laughs> Gamble, what up, boy? What's up, my man? Go fix that rope for him. All right, for a hundred time, fix the rope. Oh shit! Hundred time, fix the rope. I put Katana back in there. If you ask why, because while he has a ball that he's with, or Anything that he wants, he gets protective over. So I keep stuff like that away when I got other dogs out with him. You gotta know your dogs, man. Know know what ticks them off. Know what what gets them crazy and everything. That's how you avoid fights. That's how you avoid everything. Hey, chill it. That's how you avoid everything. You know, you gotta know your dogs. Know them. He just like that, he wants that pole. He just like that. The tunnel was to come try to take it. He would snap at her. So that's why I put her in when I'm, I'm doing stuff with him.
again, as I say, do not forget to hold your dogs down. I tell you, at least twice a week I'm seeing people on these Facebook groups saying that their dog died over a heat stroke. You need to keep an eye on that, man. Like, for real. Watch your dog's body movements, everything. Watch the drool. Watch everything. Because you got to pay attention to that. For sure. For sure. There's signs. You can see signs before it even happens. So, you just got to know your dogs. Know what you're looking for. Also, keep some rubbing alcohol around. In case they do get into that heat stroke, put that on their paws. Wipe it down on their balls. And their personality areas, you know what I'm saying? Get a, get a good there and get yourself some lemon juice, squirt it in their mouth. All that saliva that's building up in there is what's gonna, is what's gonna get them to get that info to the container. So, yeah. Make sure you get some lemon juice squirted in your mouth. Keep that on deck. Summertime, they'll put a lot of dogs down. Imagine you put humans down. Definitely putting dogs down. So please, please, I can't stress that enough. Keep an eye out. I see people posting two, three times a week about their dog. Crazy. Especially bully dogs. These big bone dogs, these little muzzle dogs, Frenchies, whatever you have, exotics. Those are the dogs that will be put down for sure with this heat. It can happen to any dog, but for sure those dogs are more prone to it. wait till we finish up taking this shed out. I cannot wait for the new one there. Hey, chill it. You had your time. Yeah, these are temporary setups right here. Like I said, I'm gonna have more lined up nicely over here. Some brolic legs. 